Welcome to our YouTube video, where we take an inside look at the strength and determination of women in Gaza to succeed under unimaginable hardships. Backslash and backslash and we start by looking at Ruzan al Najjar, who, in the face of a highly conservative Palestinian culture in the Gaza Strip, became a paramedic, providing vital care during the protests along the Israeli border in 2018. When asked why she was going against society norms and taking part in the protests, Al Najjar said being a medic is not only a job for a man. Society will be forced to accept us. The strength I showed the first day of the protests, I dare you to find it in anyone else. Unfortunately, during these protests, Al Najjar was shot and killed by an Israeli sniper. Backslash and backslash and but even during her death, Al Najjar inspired others to follow in her footsteps and continue her work. She was buried with great ceremony, the Israeli military even paying their respects for her bravery in the face of danger. Among the mourners was her mother, Saberin, who shortly after her daughter's death, enrolled in a training course with the Palestinian Medical Relief Society to learn about emergency medicine. Saberin credits her daughter for igniting her desire to prove how strong Palestinian mothers are and how they can do great things even when they are broken. After four years, Saberin began working in a managerial role at the organization. Backslash and backslash and unfortunately, the harsh realities of life in the Gaza Strip are impossible to ignore. The Israeli blockade has caused multiple setbacks and hindrances, not just in import but in day-to-day -day life. 2.2 million people have next to no freedom of movement and healthcare and other infrastructure have all but collapsed. Women in particular have it even harder, as around 18% of adult women in the occupied Palestinian territories are in work. In addition, early marriage is a persistent, and even worse, some 15% of married women experienced sexual abuse from their husbands in 2022, according to UN Women data. Backslash and backslash and when you think of these problems, it is hard to fathom women being able to make a success of themselves, but these women are breaking these molds and achieving great things. Take for example, Shireen Abu Aida, who was widowed in 2014 and is now a social worker, with four children all who want to attend university. Shireen credits her job as the life force behind being able to create an honorable and decent life for her children. And another example is Hala Shahada, who lost her husband in 2014 and, despite grief and the pressure of raising a baby alone, managed to put herself through university and open a photography studio and close shop. Backslash and backslash and it goes without saying that these women are incredible examples of strength, courage and determination. In light of the immense difficulties these women experience in the face of the horrific conditions in the Israel-Gaza Strip region, their stories of overcoming the odds and achieving success in the face of horrendous adversity should be a source of inspiration to us all.